Hi folks, and welcome back to the channel. A few weeks ago, I picked up this Aloe Bodied Scott Bonner Lawn Mower. You may have seen it on the channel, I picked it up for free, and I fixed up, there were a few niggling issues with it, and turned it into quite a good lawn mower. However, one of the things that I've noticed with it when cutting the grass, is that I don't think I'm getting the full revs out of this uh, lawn mower. So let's have a look at it closer today, and let's see if we can get it revving to the full capacity but in the meantime what i'll do quickly is i'll just show you what i mean all right so give it a, say three primes to start it up pull the handle Hopefully you could see that, but basically it doesn't sound like the revs are changing at all from the minimum setting all the way up to the maximum setting. So let's get the air cleaner off and let's have a look. There's some governor springs that control the RPM. Let's see if we can have a bit of a play and see what's going on. All right, so let's get this air cleaner off and let's have a look at what's going on underneath on the carburetor with those governor springs. Now, these are the springs which I'm talking about here. Basically, we've got the throttle mechanism. We've got a, a governor mechanism outside of the engine. And that's all controlling this little butterfly in here. So what I want to do is we'll start it up. And let's just see if I can manually manipulate that butterfly coming out of the carburetor to see if we can change the RPM. So we'll start it up again. All right, so I'd say that's a fairly successful test. Straight away, you can see that I can manipulate the butterfly that comes straight off the carburetor into the engine, and I can control the speed, getting far better RPM. And then what I was able to do is actually just pulled on the spring that comes off of the main throttle adjustment, and I could audibly hear that the engine was revving up. So what I'm gonna do is we've got that old scrap four-stroke mower down the side of the fence. Let's see if we can steal a governor spring off of that and put it on this mower and see if that solves the problem. So this is our old scrap four stroke mower. Now this has saved so many mowers. Some say don't throw rubbish out. Well, hopefully this is gonna save another mower here today. So let's get the air filter off this one and see if we've got some governor springs we can reuse. So let's get this air filter box off. Now, I think this is this spring's already off of this one, but let's see. I mean, it's got a bit of tension. Let's see if we can take that off. So I think this is the spring that we actually need. It's a little bit fiddly. There we go. So we've got that little spring off. Let's see if we can get that onto our other four stroke mole. All right. So let's just check the size. This spring's actually a little bit longer in the spring section however the overall length is approximately the same so let's see if we can get this one mounted up we'll get the old one off first as we saw it was a little bit fiddly to get the other one off so i'll just get you into a better position so let's get let's see what's going on here and see if we can get this one off a little bit easier than I thought it would be. Then we'll just get it off on this end. Like that. Let's get this one on. There we go. 
like that. And then hook this on on the back end like that. And hopefully, hopefully this is gonna make a difference. So if we just see what happens now, well, I suppose we just have to start it up and see what happens. All right, so with that governor spring swapped over, let's start it up and see what she does. So hopefully you could hear that and see that on camera, but swapping that governor spring out has made a huge difference. When you start up the lawnmower, you can see that butterfly is actually working. As the engine revs up, you can see the engine is trying to govern it back. When we come back to an idle, you can see the engine and hear it comes back. And then when you go up to full throttle on the hand control, you can actually audibly hear it go up. And you can actually see the governor and the springs actually working to control that butterfly from the carburetor to the engine. So I'll tell you that's a 100% success. Let's get the air filter back on and let's get this wrapped up. Okay, so let's pop that cage back on. That certainly went on easily. And get that screw in. And we are done. So there you go folks, that's a quick video here today on how to fix your small engine, four stroke Briggs and Stratton, which may not be revving to the maximum RPM possible. If you have liked this video, do remember to hit that like button, truly appreciate it. If you've got a comment, do drop it down below. We love reading through all the comments. On the channel, we also do other DIY projects around the home. You may have seen the Ford Falcon here in the background today. We've also got the Mercedes, the Audi and the Mazda. We do maintenance and servicing on all of those vehicles. So if you're interested in any of that content, do remember to hit that subscribe button. But until next time, have a good evening.